Pep Talk is by far one of my favorite segments, a new addition to Head Start 2.0, a time when we get to discuss issues as far as growing career-wise, emotionally, socially is concerned. And we've been joined by the man who's the CEO of Boabing Communications, Mr. Jeremiah Boabing. Today we're discussing skills. Mm -hmm. What are skills? How do we improve on the skills and make ourselves, you know, attractive to the business market? Thank you very much for joining us, my man. How's it going? Very well, and you? Yeah, sharp one. Really? You're looking sharp every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> you don't look bad yourself. Uh, thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, let's just go straight into mm. the topic. What is a skill? Well, I'll, I'll say two things. One, skill is a capacity to execute a task effectively. Mm. Mm. So if somebody has a selling skill, they can sell effectively. Mm. If somebody has a public speaking skill, they can address an audience effectively. Mm. But then again, skill also is an enhanced natural ability. So if somebody has a talent that they refine, it becomes a skill. So somebody may have a natural inclination to write, but through training, through practice, through repeated effort, they harness that natural inclination into a skill, mm. something that they do easily, that they flow easily in. Mm. But there are also different types of skills. Mm -hmm. Largely, there are two sets of skills. There are hard skills and there are soft skills. So what are hard skills? Hard skills are the core competencies in every career or vocation. Okay. So for example, an accountant may be able to write and interpret financial statements, be able to handle QuickBook, Sage, and all of those accounting softwares. Mm. A marketer may be able to write a marketing plan, be able to handle client service, handle sales, sales forecast and all of that. Those are hard skills. Mm. The ability to operate a machine or a mm. device is a hard skill. A computer programmer will know how to write a computer software. That's a hard skill. But there are also soft skills. Soft skills are personality-oriented skills. Mm. Simple skills like being courteous, knowing how to get along with others, knowing how to speak well, mm. being professional, dressing well, all of, all of those things are soft okay, skills. Okay, so if, I, if, I, if I'm getting you clearly, hard skills are the ones we pick up from the classroom, and soft skills are the ones that come to us naturally. Well, yeah, in, 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 basic, in, in, in basic terms, but, but both, of them, both of them are picked from different environments. So for mm. example, a hard skill can be refined or enhanced on the mm -hmm. job. Mm. It can even be acquired on the job. Mm -hmm. A soft skill can also be acquired in the classroom because in the classroom, there will be that devil classmate who always provokes you and makes you <laughs> angry. <laughs> and that helps you develop patience and mm. self-control. Mm. So all of those things can be acquired mm. in every setting of context. Now, you also mentioned that there are some, um, when it comes to skills, it's a refined um, you know, um, talent. You know. So what if I have the passion for something? I don't have the talent. Let's say I have a passion for marketing. Mm -hmm. Or I have a passion to be a public speaker. Mm -hmm. A person watching us always wanted to be a TV host. But they don't have the talent, you know. How do they develop that type of right. skill? First of all, one has to be careful in quickly arriving at a thinking that I don't have a talent. Mm -hmm. I mean, it may be true. But it, it may also be untrue. Because many times, having a talent or a gift does not mean that you operate in that area excellently right on the go. Right. Mm. If I tell people that I struggle with stammering, everybody will be shocked. You do? Yes. Wow. Yes, but that's one of the I things that I've had to struggle with. And yet I've built a career as a public speaker. Mm. So having a talent or a gift does not mean that you will excel easily in an area. It means that you have the ability, the natural disposition is there, but you must put in a lot of training a lot of practice to build that talent into a skill. And I totally mm. agree with you because me, I've never done TV presenting and it's something I've always wanted to do. But as soon as I started and I started working on it, I, I got better as time went by. So I feel like it's not like you don't have the, the, um, the skill, mm. but it's, you haven't it's tapped raw. into it. It's mm. raw. Exactly. And you have to put in a lot of, a lot of effort, a lot yes. of practice, and also acquire the relevant knowledge. Because many times it's, it's possible to practice wrongly. Mm. You can practice something over a long time, but you are practicing it wrongly. Mm. So when you decide to master a skill, besides practicing and training, look for the right sources of knowledge. Find the right books. Go to the right websites and read stuff that are important to the development of that skill. Mm. And then also find a mentor, somebody who has grown expertise or capacity in that field, who has, who has a track record, who can help 
you also hone your own skills. Now, when we talk about skills, and I like the fact that you are talking about the fact that there is talent and then skills can also be developed. Right. What role should passion and job opportunity play in your choice of skills? Well, so the, develop, the development of skill must largely be informed by one's vision, mm. where you are going with your life. Mm. But then again, that's also where we make the mistake. Because sometimes, based on where you are standing now in life, you think that you want to become a particular thing in the future. Yeah. So you identify certain skills that you need to get there, which is very important. But sometimes the mistake that also causes us to do is that you are quick to write off certain things and assume that this thing, I don't need it. It's this true. I don't, it's I don't true know because it. a lawyer will think, what do I need marketing for? Mm. Exactly. I need public speaking. That is the skill I need. So I don't need marketing skills. Right. So but, what, what, but, yeah. but, but, but what I'll say to anybody who's watching us today is that if you have an opportunity to learn a skill, acquire any form of knowledge, mm -hmm. commit yourself to it. You never know when you need it. For example, exactly. mm. my primary vocation is motivational speaking. I long run, running a company. One of the things that I've, I've had, had a lot of things to do with is graphic design. Hmm. When I was in computer school, many, many, many years ago, <laughs> I would never pay attention to Corridor. I would never pay attention. I don't want to be a graphic designer. Somebody will do it for me later. True, somebody is doing it for me now. But if I participated more effectively, yes. I'd have been a better coach or judge of what, what's been done for me. For you. Today, I run a company. If I'm taking Excel classes in school, better. I would have had it easier managing my finances and my accounts. Mm. You could have saved so, you money too. Exactly. Mm. So there are a lot of things that you don't anticipate as part of your vision or goals in life. But learn. If you have the opportunity to learn, acquire knowledge, acquire a skill, no matter how irrelevant it seems or looks like, learn it. Apply yourself to it. Mm. Because you never know when you need it. And you know, sometimes... We are quick to assume that certain things are not important. Mm -hmm. But for example, let's assume that you want to be a journalist or a presenter. You say, I don't need to learn politics. I don't need to learn leadership. I, don't, I just want to be a journalist. Mm -hmm. But if you're a journalist in crazy TV and you become head of your production unit, then you become a leader. Mm -hmm. Understanding politics matters. Understanding leadership matters. So we should avoid living life with a certain narrow mindset that says that this is who I want to become. So all my life, all my choices, all my relationships, all my it's knowledge, all my down, training yeah. is focused on that. Yeah. Life is far bigger than mm -hmm. just doing one thing. Now, Mr. Boabin, we're looking at skills and we're talking the importance. Now, there are different skills. Like you said, public speaking skills, marketing skills. There are people watching us at home right now. They want to evaluate themselves. What are five top fundamental skills that everyone must have that you know that if you have these five, the rest of it could be, let's say, some top-ups. All right. I will start by saying this. Every professional must first identify the top skills required in their profession. Okay. If you're a marketer, identify what the top skills in your profession are. Mm. If you're an accountant, identify what the top skills in your profession are and acquire those skills. Those are the hard skills. Mm. Those are technical competences. Okay. But in addition to that, there are a repertoire of soft skills that anybody who's going to do well in their career should have. As a matter of fact, Harvard University reports that 80% of our success in our careers is affected more by our soft skills than by our hard skills. Mm. So what are these soft skills? Simple things like interpersonal skills, mm. learning how to get along with others. Mm. It's a very important skill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you work in a company, you work in a church, you work in any kind of organization, there will be people who will rob you off wrongly. Learning how to get along with those people is a very important skill. Mm. Yeah. A simple skill like courtesy, learning how to greet people, saying hello, saying good morning, saying please, mm. saying thank you is a skill. Professionalism, learning how to dress well, mm -hmm. learning how to groom yourself, yes. getting a good haircut, a mm. good hairstyle mm. is a very important skill. Teamwork, learning how to play in a team, learning how to make team make your team achieve its goals is very important mm. attitude even confidence is a skill wow it's something that you must learn wow. if you are not confident you cannot excel in your area mm -hmm. no matter how skilled you are no matter how good you are with your hard skills confidence is a skill that you must learn timeliness coming to work early is a skill that mm -hmm. you must learn 
managing your time is a skill mm -hmm. that you must learn. Being teachable, somebody who can be taught, somebody who can be corrected, somebody who is flexible and willing to accept correction, willing to change, willing to adopt to new mm -hmm. ideas is a skill. So all of these There's things so are the things that makes a person a professional. Right. Somebody can be good at what they do, great public speaker, great author, great entrepreneur, great presenter, but if they lack these soft skills, they'll miss a number of opportunities. Madam, I want to ask, is it, is it possible to unknowingly acquire a skill? Oh, it is. Because sometimes in doing something, for example, when I was in high school, I started writing way back in high school. And back then, I mean, computers were not so common. I mean, not everybody had access to it. So I used to write articles for the notice board. And I was, I was always writing almost every week, back to back, I had an article on a notice board. Now, I was writing articles, but in so doing, my own handwriting improved. Mm. The wow. focus was not to improve the handwriting. Mm -hmm. The focus was to write an article. That was but in so board doing, board yes. exactly, yeah. my, 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 my handwriting improved. So many times we acquire different skills. So for example, if you're a public speaker, it would mean that you have to prepare a lot of presentations. Preparing a lot of presentations back to back, year in and year out, has improved my memory. Mm. So I can easily memorize stuff, mm. easily, because I like to speak without referring to my notes. Okay. So because of that, I did it year in, year out. Mm. So I've developed a quick memory, very fast memory wow. because of that. So okay. there are skills we acquire whilst doing other things. Mm. We have to run out of the studio because of time. And sadly, because of time, we can't read your messages. A lot of your messages have come through. But um, what should um, people... Give me top three. 30, 10 seconds. Top three that people should have. Skills that they should have for career. Top three. One. Wow. Public speaking. Two. Writing. Three. Leadership. Thank you very <laughs> much, Mr. <laughs> Jeremiah Boabin. He's the CEO of Boabin Communications. I hope we can have you again yes, next, next week. week. We're looking forward I'll to continuing sure. the conversation as far as, um, you know, skill sets is concerned. We're going for a short break. When we come back, sports review segments. Take us there.